Good morning, bonjour. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and I just woke up. I'm walking to go get breakfast. I want to give value. Like being in Laos is such a beautiful time and there's so many things that you can learn and so much culture. And I feel like my videos don't focus on that. Like it's more about me kind of in my daily vlogs and what I'm thinking. But who cares what I'm thinking? How about I just shut up and show you some more of Laos? Whoa, look at this aloe vera. This is the biggest aloe vera I've ever seen. Can I have a piece? <laughs> wow, it's so nice. If you want to see just like street walk in Long Perbang, here it is. Look how empty the streets are. Super, super empty. Somebody. Somebody. All the way there, you can see Fusi Mountain. It's, it's a little hill. It's a short little walk, maybe about 20 minute hike. Here's one of my favorite cafes, Tudor House Cafe. It's so low key, I feel like. I feel like not a lot of people know about this cafe. It's all the way down here, but it's so nice. They have a mix of Western food and Lao food and it's so cheap and the portions are really nice and the food tastes really good. If you're looking for like a cafe kind of thing, but sometimes you can also find the best street food on the street, but I was surprised to find really good food at this cafe. For cheap, it's so cheap. They have prices for students. So, I mean, they say prices for students, but like, it just, it doesn't mean like, I'll show your ID. It just means like, if you want to order this, you can, it's cheaper because they're mindful of the students who also want to eat, but also like sit down at a cafe and work and. Right now, it's very, very hot. Here's a nail salon. Here at the street, you have like all the beauty, the beauty parlors and hair parlors. Here I got my hair washed there before. Um, but this lady, oh, this one right here. I think she's from Korea. And I believe this is a pretty new shop. But yeah, so if you're looking to ever get some beauty care done, this is a really good street. It's just off the main road behind the, the roundabout. I don't know the street name, sorry. But yeah, here's the nail salon. We're good to go. Here's a temple. But I'm not dressed appropriately with shorts on so I cannot go in. Western style hair salon for foreigners, I mean local people here too. And they also have the COVID protocols, safety protocols, but it looks like a pretty fancy salon, very Western standards. If you're looking for a salon to go to. It's called Master Cuts. And it's on the corner. I've never been myself. Prices are really, really cheap. Those are really good prices. This place is usually always busy. I see a lot of local people eating here in this restaurant. They're, they cook for order, so they're not already sitting out. I never tried there before, but I've also heard a lot of good things about this place as well. So quiet today. Like I said, it's Sunday, so it's already extra quiet, but even when it's not Sunday, it's still generally pretty quiet. Usually this street is a lot of little shops and restaurants 
It's one of the main little side streets. Sabadi. <laughs> The locals are so friendly. I love Laos. This is a traditional Laos. I found this little restaurant as I was walking past and I've been craving Pad Thai lately. And I really like Pad Thai when I'm in Thailand. It's one of my favorite dishes. It's a really pretty typical, but it's actually really good as well. I've been, I haven't had it in so long and so maybe this would be good. I'm pretty sure it will. It seems pretty popular. One lady was just ordering food from here. I like to go to the places that aren't like abandoned, so if you see locals eating, it's probably gonna be a really good place. So, yep, just ordering some pad thai, Hainanese chicken rice, steamed rice with steamed pork. A lot of people are pulling up here. Wow, that's a nice bike. I keep seeing these kind of bikes with this little... People are coming and going. I think Lao money is so pretty. This is about five, six dollars in Lao money. Have chai. That was super quick. It took like three minutes. Chai, thank you. Five thousand, ten thousand. Oh, this looks good. I don't know what this is. I never eat here before. It looks so good. It's like pearls. I think it's ice cream. Okay, 99% sure it's about to rain. But it's nice because it's a nice little breeze now. The sun was making me so hot. But yeah, all of that, the beauty salon, the shops, the food, all of that is down this road. And the night market is just here and then I like to try different places, but also I know for sure that this is one of my favorite coffee places here. The lady's super nice, like I said, and I just like to support local businesses if I can. Especially when I find a favorite one. Oh, here's another one of my favorite little fashion shops for you girlies out there who are wondering about the fashion. I don't know, but this place has some cute stuff and I love that they change all the time. Sometimes when I'm walking past, they change like what's on the mannequins and they have like new stuff or new styles and I'm really interested to see how they style the outfits and I just think it's so cute whoever styles these outfits they do a really good job and I'm just so interested in like when I walk past here every week I just like to see what's new and what's different it's so interesting seeing the little Asian Korean style fashion I've gotten some stuff from here before so here is a nice place to get uh, soup in the morning she always has soup. You can get rice soup or noodle soup. It's 5,000 kip for a bag of big soup. And this popcorn is really good. It's like salty and sweet. It's so delicious. So ready. I tried her coffee shakes, her green tea shakes, the red tea shakes. My favorite is the Thai tea shake. So delicious. This popcorn, you can smell it when you're walking all the way down the street. I don't know what they do to it, but when I discovered it, I was like, wow, it tastes like marshmallows and butter and salt, it's so good, it's sweet and salty. It tastes like heaven, marshmallow pillows, I don't know, it's just, they, I don't know what they do, but it's really good. 
<laughs> the cup is so huge. It's a little shortcut to my house, to my home, my hotel, whatever you want to call it. Ah, it's raining. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. But it's one thing if it just starts pouring. <sighs> yep, here it is. It's raining. Okay, I gotta put my camera away. The shortcut just leads you to this part right in front of the supermarket. Here's a popular like um, street food. It's kind of like a little fast food joint. They have Chinese food. I see a lot of people eat here all the time. But I've never tried here. Nascar. He's an artist from Germany. So here's the place that I'm staying. Um, very nice. Here's the shower. I love the shower so much. The water pressure is amazing. The room, it's very small. I really like the floors. It's super fancy. And the wood, it just makes me feel like such a Lao style um, architecture. architecture? Uh, I don't know. I always see like in Lao they have the wood and I don't know, it's just like the, this wood is very, I see it used a lot in buildings, like this dark wood, and it's just so cozy and fancy. Here's a temple, and here's my view, but I love this view, this view is breathtaking. So I just think that the view is so amazing. 